Hey everyone, so uh, it's time to start a new video. Um, this week I'm going to be working mostly on the front wall, which is actually this back wall that's just extended up. Um, it's an inward curve and it has all the windows in it. Um, so it's going to be some pretty custom fit earth bags building between the windows and then uh, concrete uh, around the top to form the wall plate. Not sure I'm going to get that all done this week because it's quite a bit to do. I've got to remember to put in fixing points to put the forms in around the front. Uh, concrete along the front because of the internal curve being quite weak I needed to reinforce it with something. So yeah, a little bit of earth bagging to do and then uh, the concrete wall plate. And then it's time to start the uh, frame in the middle of the top workshop. So yeah, let's get on with it. Do some earth bags. Perfect. Can't tamp it though, we need to kick it over. Yep. Let's put that one in next, next to that window frame. And then we can tamp everything that's in. And it'll push against each other. Lost it. <laughs> right, start sort of in, yeah. that little bit in there. That's a whole different thing, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Lost it. Over again. Thank you. 
So I think we might actually be in a position to finish these earth bags today. We've just got to sort out this corner and then run a few bags up to there. We've already got a few bags filled and then sort out uh, next to the door as well. And then it's ready for the wall plates, putting the shuttering in and stuff for the wall plates. Yeah, exciting. All right, we're just getting in some corner bags. Corner bags are a... Uh, Clay and cement mix. It's a bit sloppy, sloppy than normal because the soil was dry but uh, wet. And um, they'll be okay. They're going really hard. Done. All right, we've uh, got this other corner done this morning, and now we just got a taper back from this door, back that way, same as I did on the other side, there, and then that is earth bagging the walls at least done. Because there's still going to be earth bags between each log for the roof, um, so there's still earth bags to fill, but not many. Um, but that is the walls done once these ones are fitted along there.
Right, we're just doing the uh, shuttering. So we're doing five inches of concrete with uh, rebar in it, and uh, it's just basic shuttering, nothing special. And the end product's not going to look good. It's going to have steps in it and whatever, but it's all getting plastered. Uh, it's just got to be strong. That's the only criteria. Yeah, just work our way around doing that. Right, so we got a bit done of that uh, shuttering. Um, like I say, it's, it's all getting plastered, so you're gonna, not going to see it. The only thing that matters about it is it's strong, it follows the roof line, and it, and it ties it all together. Um, it went quite well, we did that a bit in about an hour and a bit or something, so I'm confident we can do that tomorrow. We're booked to do the concrete in. I've got another helper coming on Friday, and uh, it's about 4 o'clock now, really hot. Confident we can finish that tomorrow, so I'm going to go and dig out some gravel, ready for the concrete, start loading that up. Uh, make the most of a nice evening. So just cut all this rebar down. Um, there's nine of these uh, pins they're going to be. So these drive down into the wall. I'm going to weld this T on the top and then the bars will weld to them which run inside the concrete. So that's down in the wall, that's in the concrete and then the uh, ones that run lengthways will weld to the end of these. Then just uh, curving these bits of plywood around these shallow curves. Um, it doesn't need to be strong, it's only five inches thick, so it's gonna have rebar in it, so. Yeah, just forms, but I think that's gonna work. Using these bits that we put in the wall to uh, help form it around the curve. Look at the uh, rebar, nothing special, just bending it around as we go. And then those T pieces I made going down through the bags a meter. And then comes over the window with some standoffs, some U nails in the window to bond it to the window frame. And it goes off, just bending around. Uh, it's bent over the curves, it's all in the curves. Yeah, she works it all the way around like that. Should be nice and strong. So I just put some stone in. This is the form for the curved window. I just put some stone in it to fill a bit of space because we made uh, the concrete 
this quite a bit higher so we're gonna need quite a bit more and I don't have any more so just put some rock in to fill some space on there and then we shall cast that and then there'll be a bit of stone from underneath let's say Hold your breath. So a uh, bit stressed out really, a uh, bit worried about this in general because it's had three days to set and it's not going that hard and there's uh, a cement shortage in the area, I don't know if it's global but certainly around here there is and I had a real hard time getting hold of it and it just doesn't seem to be setting at the rate that I'd expect it to because it's three days old now and it's still very crumbly, we definitely mixed it right, um, we definitely used the right materials and yeah, it's just not going that hard. So, and on top of that, it doesn't look like I did a particularly good job of getting it in the forms very well. Um, that is not too much of a concern for me because if it went hard enough, it would be absolutely fine. But it's just not setting very hard. So we might have to uh, just leave this for a little bit longer because it's only three days old and it will get harder yet and just see. But at the moment I'm a little bit concerned about it. So yeah, this is a piece of the mix that came out of the wheelbarrow. Um, so you see it looks, you know, doesn't look like a bad mix. It's got all the aggregate in there, sand in it, cement all between it, but three days old. You can turn it to bits. That shouldn't happen. Let's say there's a cement shortage and I'm thinking maybe I might have been ripped off. Maybe 
that was just too old, rebagged or something. Yeah, don't know that for sure. It might have been us, but we didn't add too much water, and it should be harder than that in my mind after three days. It hasn't been in the sun, it's been covered up. You know, I've mixed concrete before, and it's been a lot harder than that after 24 hours. So, yeah, we'll revisit, see what happens with it, but I'm feeling like. I might be redoing this, which I am pretty gutted about. So I decided that because of the problem with the concrete not setting as hard as I was expecting, I was going to add an inch and a half uh, timber wall plate to the top as well and sandwich everything all together with that. Uh, concrete's got poor tensile strength and um, because it isn't also as strong as I'd like it uh, the wood with high tensile strength is going to add a lot of support uh, particularly in the direction that I want it to have the support and then I'm going to make a glue lamination board to uh, go over the archway as well I'm just going to run uh, materials through the planar thicknesser and then glue them together in an arch and that will add support over the arch that we can put the roof timber on The uh, wind has really picked up and it keeps chucking it down. There's not that nice working conditions really, we're in, in water here, so a bit annoying, but I'm pleased with how this is going now. Uh, we're getting this inch and a half roof plate round and then I've got that uh, glue lamb piece in the middle. I'll get up there and show you it. Yeah, much more pleased with this now and this is getting harder and harder all the time. So. Glue lamb piece that's going to add a lot of strength. So, yeah, pleased with that. And then we're going round wall plate and plating everything. It's all going to get plastered in, it's just going to add a lot of tensile strength to all this. And I say this is getting a lot harder than it was. I could pick it off with my nail before. Right, this is a bit of exciting milestone. I can uh, knock these spots out now. Too. Looks bad, doesn't it? Right, there we go, that's the window in and supported properly. Um, solid. That's good. Pleased with that. Bit of a milestone. Excellent. This is fixing down a lot better than I thought it was going to get. This is getting a lot harder than we anticipated it would in like, the time frame. It seems to have really hardened up over yesterday and today. It seems to have just got exponentially harder. I'm still glad we've done this as well because it's going to be a nicer fixing point for the roof logs anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm putting in decent sized plugs into this, fixing it down with these fixings with a big bit of wood on top to spread out the load and it's, they're, they're screwing down hard as anything I'm really pleased with that. if that was concrete that, that wouldn't go into that 
just a normal hammer drill. Do you know if it was hard? But it's hard enough for it to be working well, so it's all right. So I'm pretty happy with uh, with this now. It's hardening up pretty well. I mean, it's definitely not as hard as it should be, but it's pretty strong. Uh, with our glue laminated timber on top, it's not actually going to be taking roof weight. It's only got to take its own weight, which uh, I think it should do. But it's at about 70% strength at this point, so it's not going to get much stronger. And if it can't hold its own weight at that strength, then you know it's no good anyway. So I'm going to take this form out. Good. Quite good under there. Just wants a bit of point in tidying up. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, look. Let's see if I can get you to see it. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, that actually looks quite good. Actually, quite pleased with that. It just wants pointing. But that is going to look really nice under there. You know, some of it's going to end up being wood because I've got to have something to mount the window to. Turn the brightness down a bit. Yeah, excellent. So now I just need to be sure that it is uh, strong enough. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and stand on it. Right, so we don't have to worry about the roof log that sits on it, even though there's only one, because that's gonna be putting its weight on the glue lamp board, which is actually above the top of that lintel. Um, so it's only got to hold itself and it's not at full strength yet so if it can hold itself and me when it's not at full strength I'll be happy with it because I'm also going to be adding a curved piece of wood in there still with the window uh, so let's see I'm going to get up there there's no cracks I'm going to stand on it No sign of movement. Yeah. See, here is the inside of the concrete. It's uh, look, look. I mean, it looks to me like you know, fairly normal concrete. Maybe it could have had a little bit more gravel, but we did a three-two-one mix, and. I mean, it looks right inside. It looks like it should be really hard. And this is only a piece off the edge, but <coughs> you can still sort of break it like that. You see, it's not breaking the gravel in half. See, there's all the gravel. And the gravel's not breaking down the middle. 
it's just the cement and sand particles that are breaking so I believe it is dodgy cement which is really disappointing I'm not 100% sure on that but if it was the ingredients I would expect the ingredients to fracture down the middle the fact that it's following the cement and sand particles suggests that it's a uh, defective cement or old cement even though it's in date but anyway it seems like we've got around it right so uh, now we've got the arch all uncovered I'm gonna go around fitting these uh, pieces here that the roof logs are gonna notch into and you know this this front wall is now gonna be so strong like unbelievably strong so I'm really pleased with that Man, that is getting really strong now. I'm really happy with how that's going. There's a lot of strength in that in that now. With the uh, with the windows, uh, the frames of the windows, the concrete, not great concrete, but concrete, um, the rebar, and then inch and a half wood on top, and then the profile pieces on top of that for the logs to go in and then the actual roof timbers themselves, it's gonna be insanely strong for what it's gonna to have to put up with. So there we go, covers off, and it looks awesome. I think you'll agree that that came out very well. So I'm now happy that this is sufficiently overbuilt and I don't need to worry about it. Um, this is all tied in with that glue lamination uh, timber on top and if you look at it here there's going to be no problem with strength anywhere here and there's going to be no problem with strength anywhere here and there's going to be a roof timber there, a roof timber there, one timber in the middle and that one timber won't have much weight on it at all because one end of it is on a frame in the middle and so it's only taking half of one timbers worth of roof and it's uh, not even very big it's only a couple of meters so there's only going to be a couple of hundred kilos on that center at most anyway so i'm sufficiently happy that it is sufficiently strong and my track record so far has been quite good with things i've built so i think it will be fine in fact i know it will be fine yeah, pleased. It was a bit stressful this week, but uh, but it's turned out really well actually. Let's climb up on the roof of the front and I'll show you what it looks like uh, from on top of the, the lower workshop. Alright, let's climb up here. So we're on top of the roof of the top workshop, lower workshop, sorry. And uh, show you the uh, roof line because it looks really cool. Get a bit further away so I can get it all in the shot. Right, let's have a look here. Obviously there's all the covers and everything blocking a lot of the view um, But you can see there's a very funky roof line I think it would look nicer if the whole thing was just a little bit higher above the lower workshops roof window But I just didn't want to take the walls up that high um, So everything's a bit of a compromise really to keep the uh, wind load down off that inter internal curve but Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Can you imagine that with a big turf roof on top of it? awesome just a couple more views before we end the video obviously like I say still got covers and stuff everywhere but won't be long now and that will come off we'll start plastering all this in and we'll have a beautiful workshop Ugh. the things I do for a good thumbnail ah, nice up here 